Alright guys, what's up? This is Throwing Knife Killer, and this is just the overall central video to an airsoft war. Like what gear you need to bring, um, and just certain things, primary weapons or sidearms. So I'm going to have three specific videos. You can go check out my intro here, um, and that's to the series, and then it'll help you with different things. Anyhow, let's just go over the regular airsoft essentials. So, first off, you need a vest. At least, I think you would need a vest when you're playing airsoft, unless you really want to go light, only maybe carrying one gun and um, no extra mags. But I personally love to use a vest. Um, one thing it does for you is you can carry a lot of mags, um, at least in this vest. You get four mag pouches, um, and it actually holds two Thompson magazines in each one. So if you had like a Thompson, you're like, hey, I'm going to hold eight magazines. Be like, you know what, this vest can do it, so that's nice. Um, another thing, it's got some magazine pouches and a pistol grip with a mag pouch in that. Uh, that's pretty sweet, so you can uh, hold your pistol in a vest. Not all vests carry that um, feature with them. Some are just chest rigs that have a lot of mag pouches, but if you're using a sidearm, you might want to get one with a sidearm holster. This also, down here, these two, are, uh, I use for speed loaders, but they also are magazine pouches. That is one great feature of this vest. It's got a lot of mag pouches. Uh, you can hold basically speed loaders, whatever, uh, in this vest. It's a really nice vest. Um, and also utility pouches. Those are nice. You can carry some tools like this gun right here, this primary, uh, the Matrix 1892. Could require some tools on the field. You never know what's going to happen. So, if you've got your utility pouch, you can just put the tools in there or over here. Um, I have carried Allen Wrench's pocket knife in there before. Very helpful, guys. Very helpful. Now, also, you notice this Matrix 1892 has a different way of loading it. You do load it into the side, so you have to insert in the side and blah, 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 blah. So, you can take off this and say you had a Matrix 1892. I think you could use it like that, but if you didn't want to and you just had this really large speed loader right here, guys, so the plunger rod, okay? You can always just put that in a magazine pouch um, and it would fit. Even if you don't believe me, it would fit. There you go. It fits. So, that's another nice feature is just having a vest. You can store plunger rods and whatever in it. Um, so, moving on then to BBs. If you have BBs on the battlefield, you're going to need BBs in your vest. I mean, come on. Look it. You've got magazines. You're running out of ammo. Uh, your speed loaders, if you're using mid-caps, they could be running out of ammo too. And if you're like playing all-day war, you're going to want to be able to carry some BBs. So these are just some .23 grams, uh, which I already had in my vest. You can just fold it up, put it right in a mag pouch in your vest. Um, and I know that would take off a mag pouch. But you could also probably put it in here. Um, and there are pockets inside these uh, this vest. So you've got like foot long pocket there or something like that, foot long pocket here, zip pocket. So if you wanted to do that, you could always put the BBs inside of there. Um, moving on to lanyard wise, I have had a la couple lanyards before and they both broken on broke on me. They were the same kind, which really sucked, but anyhow. This thing right here, you know, you can use some points. I think this could be, actually this would be a sling, not a lanyard, but lanyards fit onto the, the belt. Um, so if you're running a lanyard and um, you're on the belt, boom, right there, free spot. Now this right here, this is another pistol holster I added. Um, it doesn't actually come with that second pistol holster, but yeah, I added that. Up here, we've got the points for like three point sling, that's where I use mine, I connect my sling to it and uh, put my sling over my shoulder um, and neck and I can just drop my gun when I'm going on the field, you know, and if I have to switch to my sidearm, pull it out right there, drop my gun, it's just hanging, you got the sling point right here and that's fantastic. Now this vest also features some spots for um, some patches, so you've got my evike.com patch right here and an American flag which is also from evike.com. Um, it does have a molly system on the back so 
you know, whatever. Everything is, you can adjust this vest, you can put things in the back, you know, this is just basically whatever you've got it on the belt. It's a nice thing to have when you're in uh, airsoft war situation, especially if it's an all day thing and you're not reloading a lot. So, or refilling your ammo, you need BBs to be held in there, you got it. Now that's not all neat and nice, I apologize for that, um, but I did just flip it over. Moving on then to your sidearm. Sidearm, right here, sidearm fits. I'm going to have a series of video telling you, you know, how to choose a sidearm, um, and if you have any questions, you know, blah, 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 comment below with sidearms. So, if you want to click on that video, you just click right there, okay? Now, mask. Always have to have a mask. I prefer one with fans. Uh, this actually also has lights, so if you're playing night battles, you've got a light in the night. Alright, if you can hear that, it's got a fan. Two different settings for the fan. Uh, this mask was only $24.99. You can get it on airsplat.com. I actually got it from Sears, uh, or through Sears. It was a gift, actually. Um, and the vest was also from Airsplat, but Eve like, does carry this vest. Um, I was just looking my cousin for my cousin last night. We were looking at vests, and they've got an ACU one, which is my favorite camo uh, in this vest, and he's going to get it. $35. Bucks. This is $29.99 uh, on airsplat.com, but they also have the ACU one for like 40 bucks in airsplat. So, e-bike for 35 for the ACU one, maybe airsplat for this one if you want a black one. Moving on to smart chargers. So, if you have a primary AEG instead of like a gas weapon, this is gas blowback, um, or at least gas, I know that, and you are on the field for all day, maybe you've got an hour break, you're going to want a smart charger if you have like some break time in between where you can get access to an outlet, maybe indoor, something like that if you're going to eat. Um, just because smart chargers charge in a fraction of the time uh, and you can just go ahead and plug your battery in if you need to reload. Otherwise have a second battery on hand if you're going to an all day event. Um, so this vest, I suppose you might be able to put in a, a battery uh, pouch. I actually have a battery pouch. I just don't have it on there because I've got other stuff on there like a second pistol holster and bayonet right here which is like a tack knife. So smart charger, those are always great. You can get them at ebike.com for $28. Now moving on here to gloves. Now, gloves. You may say, I don't really need gloves. I say I like to wear gloves. One thing they do is it doesn't hurt as much when you get shot in the hand um, unless like they're skin tight and whatever, wherever you get shot. Another thing to do is if you're out in the field and say you're in woods, you know, you can just don't want to hurt your hands. Well, you've got gloves on if you're moving branches and whatever um, and you don't have to worry about cutting yourself on thorns maybe. Um, well, you probably do still because thorns could probably go through these gloves. But maybe depending on the gloves, you don't have to worry about that. Gloves are nice, alright? And just they're always nice to use I guess. Now, another thing I like to use this pouch for is CO2. I carry CO2 right inside there um, and I've got that for my sidearm. Now if you're going with the green gas sidearm, um, green gas does actually fit in here but I don't really want to bring green gas in the battlefield. You're probably going to want some extra mags just to put in here um, but that's your decision. So I guess this about wraps it up for this equipment video. Um, it's the overall essentials. I will do other videos that you can check out. If you go back to my intro, which was in the beginning of the video, you can click on that. Um, I thank you all for watching and for staying with me this whole time. If you have, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye-bye.